Hey everyone, Irix guy here. If you've got a uh, keychain camera, you're probably trying to figure out how to adjust the settings, uh, in particular the uh, date and timestamp, and possibly uh, maybe you want to turn that on and off, or you want to adjust the audio quality or the video quality. Now there's a tool, and you're looking at the link right here. It's uh, www.mytempfiles.info/nr16/index.html. Now that's because I'm using the uh, number 16 keychain camera. So all I did, I downloaded, you can download the manual and everything too, but I downloaded this setup, uh, nr16 setup.zip. And here it is right here. I'm going to drag over my Windows. I'm on a Mac, but I run Windows in a, uh, in a VMware session when I have to. I'm not a, not a fan of Windows. But anyway, here's the uh, NR16 program running out of Windows, and as you can see, it's very straightforward. I've got it current, and, and all of this can be toggled, but I've got it set to where it will include a date and time stamp, and it's going to pull that from the from the desktop computer. So whatever date you have, date and time you have set in Windows, it'll pull it from there. Uh, the time stamp I turned on because I do want that uh, towards the bottom corner of my video. Uh, loop recording I've got turned off. Recording indicator, I'm going to keep that on. Now the default video quality is 7 megabytes per second. And as you can see here with this 2 gigabyte, and it's actually registering as a 1.83 gigabyte micro SD card, at a video data rate of 7 megs per second, I could record 70 minutes of video. Now for my purposes, I'm only attaching this to a rocket and the entire flight time from blast off to landing should only be a few minutes so I'm going to maximize my video quality. I'm going to put it out to 10 megabytes now you can see that the video clip link because of my micro SD cards size is now 40 minutes instead of 70 minutes. I'm going to keep the audio a medium quality I don't I don't know why I would want to uh, to bump that up. Medium quality sounds good enough to me auto shut off I'm just gonna keep that at default I do want to keep the 1280 by 720 which is 720p and I have no need to rotate the video but if you mouse over this it will show you what the options will do uh, this will rotate the video 180 degrees so that the camera can be held upside down while recording but for my for filming this rocket launch that's really not gonna matter uh, so the next step after adjusting all of this is to uh, and actually I'm going to create a new profile call it new settings just going to double check make sure I've got everything in there and I do save profile I've got it selected and now I'll do continue uh, now this part right here is important because it's going to tell you what to do after you hit OK so you'll be instructed to disconnect the camera that's step one and you will be instructed to press the shutter button and the power button you must not release these buttons keep the buttons pressed so I hit OK it says disconnect the camera the LEDs did go out press and hold the shutter button And when the counter hits zero, press and hold the power button. So I'm doing this right now. You can't see this because I'm not filming myself. But I'm holding the shutter button, which is the topmost button. And when it shows zero, which it does now, I'm holding the power button, which is the button directly underneath it. Now I've got a yellow LED on my camera. I'm still holding both. Now it started flashing as it said. It went off. The LED went off. And as the software says, the camera should now be accurately set. So what I'm going to do now is re I'm going to power the camera back on by pushing the, the bottom button towards the top right. And I'm plugging it back in to sync up with this Windows session here. I'm doing connect to Windows because I'm in a VMware instance. 
And I'm hoping that it'll show video data rate of 10 megabytes per second. And it does. So it's retained the settings. So now what I'm actually going to do is post a separate video and feel free to check that out. It'll be a video that's recorded indoors and poor lighting with these settings that you see right here. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I welcome any uh, questions or feedback that you might have. Have a good one.